Right, believe it or not, but this is a thousand gallon fiberglass tank for Lucius. <laughs> believe it or not, it's in bits. I've been all the way to, I had to do a four hour drive to go and get it. Uh, and then obviously a four hour drive back to Lowestoft. Um, as proof, I should put in a clip now of Lowestoft Seafront. Ah, Lowestoft Seafront. I'm here a little early. Lowestoft Seafront. So yeah, it's ex-army portable water tank. Now, <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work, but it was such a good price. It's basically a 16 foot long, four foot wide. Well, it can be any shape to be honest. It's so versatile. What I could do with more, more of these panels to be honest, and I could make an even bigger one, but they're really hard to come across. That's why I sort of brought them um, and legged it as quick as I could to go and get them because it answers a lot of my problems. So I'm not allowed to dig holes in the ground in my garden. Um, so it was kind of, what was I gonna put Lucius in next? And it's this. And it's multi-compartmental or sectional. So if I got more panels, I could make it even bigger. Um, now, it's supposed to be self-sealing. So you don't need to put a liner in. But if, if I do need to put a liner in, um, if it does leak, obviously I can easily put a liner in, in as well, so it's not a problem. But uh, let's see if it's self seal anyway. But here you go, I've got to get it in the garden now. Loads of lifting again. Here we go. Well, I've got them in. I'll just try and go back a bit so you can see. Oh god, I was absolutely drenched with sweat and I, by the time I finished carrying all this in. So I went straight upstairs, had a bath and collapsed on the bed for about two hours, trying to recover. I pulled about a, a zillion muscles, um, but it's in. I mean, a, a tank that size made of thick fiberglass, I could not have sort of transported into the, into the garden on my own through a little gap in the side of the house. So should be good. Um, there is some damage to this one. It's fiberglass, so it is, I mean, I used to fiberglass boats. Um, so that's fixable. How well I want to fix it depends really on whether I want to um, have this totally sealed on its own or if I put a liner in there or use sealant maybe. Um, but I have got that to do at some stage. How well I'm going to do it, how much effort I'm going to put into that, I don't know, because it all depends if I want to try and seal it myself, have it seal itself, or use sealant or a pond liner, it depends really. Some of the screw hole, the actual holes where the bolts go through is damaged there. This is one of the bases. It's all got all like labelled as to what they are. I've got four bases, so I've got four of these that will go together, one, two, three, four, which will make it 16 foot long four foot wide and the others are like sides I got S on some of them which which means side and some of them it says C so I don't know what that is maybe corner maybe I'm not sure obviously I need to get a lot of bolts and that to get it all together but here starts really I mean I've got it I'm not intending to do it straight away it's just that I saw it saw it on eBay and I thought this that's exactly what I'm after I don't really need it until late winter, early summer next year. But here starts all this hedging's gotta go, or at least trim down a lot. Um, and or obviously the center bit's gotta be all, got all this, get, get rid of all of this, and fill this area with stones like I've done. But a lot of this, that, that's gotta go, all that hedge there, because uh, it's 16 foot long, so it needs to go into that area. So I've got a lot of work to do through the winter 
and I probably am going to get rid of all these hedges over time because um, I want a worm farm along here as well probably quite a big one um, but this is all long projects going through the winter into next summer uh, yeah so I've got it anyway huge effort A to go and get it and B to carry it in as well but it's here and that's Lucius's next home here we go <laughs>